What's up guys, this is the Roverman and we are back to my next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off last time, we are finally engaging the army of Gerhard von Blücher on the battlefield. So let's get ready to push him and his men eastwards, unless we could potentially kill him. I don't know if he's going to come back or not, if he's just wounded. I suspect he is, but still, I'd rather have the opportunity to kill him. So let's attack. They've got lots of cavalry. We'll have those annoying stakes that will interfere with my cavalry game. So I doubt we shall utterly destroy them. But we will still do um, a lot of damage to them. So let's see what the terrain is like. Okay, so they've got some nice hills. See, and I've got six pounders, which aren't going to be enough. It's tempting to try and deploy them, say, here. But the range is very short. So we'll have... It always does. Let's just put the Highlanders on the left. Their job will be to try and secure this hill in the distance. Supported by the light infantry. Artillery probably. So you prob will probably just stay here. We'll move up. Sorry, you'll stay in this position but go that way. Let's move three units and a Coldstream Guard unit on the right. Our King's German Legion, sorry, not Coldstream Guards. On the left. Let's put the cover on the right. Union of Dragoons on the left ish. John Moore in the center. Start. By massing your artillery, it's possible to turn a strong enemy position into a killing zone. Damn right it is. Hurry up because they've got some dragoons and was that, what's that? Oh, Silesian, I thought it was Siberian. So they do have lancers, so let's keep our cavalry moving up with them. So John Moore, move up. Now where is Blucher? There he is. <laughs> Hello. He's mumbling. It's nice of them not to deploy their artillery there. It's always a nice thing to see. So I'm going to triple speed it, although they might be low calibre. Yeah, they're six pounders like ours. Yep, now they're deploying. Maybe it's because we're just creeping in range. No, John Moore. Don't move up in front of the infantry, you silly billy. Let's just keep it a bit spotty. We're probably going to get some artillery smashing into our... our artillery positions. Or not. We're not being shot at. Weirdly. They've got a skirmish unit that keeps appearing and disappearing. Unlimber my guns. Up here some there they are. Grenadier Regiment. That's hidden, but not hidden, but hidden, but not hidden. So two units of lancers. They're charging. Let's get my dragoons in the hills. Let's get my cannons to barrage. Let's 
Oh well, they're moving up. So they can't say where they want to attack. Move up John Moore. Okay. So they seem content to give up this flank. Canister shot. This cavalry. Good. Fearing a similar attack, let's focus fire on the lancers. Especially as their cavalry is not doing. They're coming back. They really are committing their cavalry to this, aren't they? Fair enough, it's probably going to work. But we can play the same game. Cavalry's routing, so let's get the gunners back to their guns. They never actually left the guns. That's pretty good. So, engaging them with a rifle fire from all directions. That's their cuirassiers to the rear. We're prepared to sacrifice or risk a unit of dragoons. do some pretty devastating damage to their artillery. Be not... Oh, there's a cavalry stake. Watch out for them. Let's keep moving up. It's very nice of them to keep letting us so they're bunching all their troops around their general. We had a howitzer. Just pound your artillery into the centre. Bluke is routing. I mean, my cavalry isn't doing anything. They could just, they could just charge in. To be honest, things are going so well just letting my infantry shoot the crap out of them. Let's get my Highlanders to secure the hill. Get my cavalry in there. Luke is going to escape, but that's okay. Just charge in, because right now there's no incentive to do anything else. Mob their cavalry. Good. Then just set the rest of my... Okay, there is a unit back here that's come back. 
just set my home just to run into them. Okay, my dragoons are going to start getting into trouble. So when my infantry comes up. To be honest, it's kind of ideal. My oh no, it's mostly kind of ideal. My dragoons are not doing anything. Charge into those Silurian. No, not Silurian. That's Doctor Who. You charge up to go support my dragoons. My cavalry is pretty. not meaningless, but I don't. not my cavalry, my artillery. Um, artillery can be. Re can be. can be replaced. So these dragoons will be pulled off of their horses. They look pretty damn awesome. My dragoons, cuirassiers. Very, very brutal, very, very. Simple as a tactic. Like, I'm okay with letting them escape because it's been a bit messy. The main thing will be. The main thing will be keeping them on their toes. So, right now. Ooh, who's that? Is that my gunners? Oh, poor lad. I think it's probably one of my gun teams, probably got shot to pieces by another one. By my infantry. So now let's just advance these guys up. Let's just end it. It's been a bit messy. Um, a blue crossfire. But that leaves him to fight another day. And gives us an opportunity to kill him. And at the very least we are in our own territory. So let's go here, and if he tries to link up with this army, we will then attack him. We will force him to be on the offensive. So let's move you, uh, see you move you up, move you towards Breslau. He's, oh no, he was, oh, he was up in Berlin replenishing, wasn't he? Silly me. So you stay one more turn. Okay, so let's move you up into a position here. See, we're not at war with the Russians yet. Not the Russians, Austrians. But we're certainly getting things into position. So let's get this agent out of here. Let's get him into Moravia. Don't bother trying to build anything because the Prussians are probably going to raid and would knock everything down anyway. Let's get Michael Stowell into Courland. Demand surrender. Peacefully occupy. Rebuild and fortify. Because if we drive westward from Courland, I want to leave a garrison here to defend against either from Vilnius or from Estonia from Russian forces. To be honest, actually, how close are we to our objectives? 37. So we've got 20... 23 more to go. To be honest, it's still a nice big chunk of map to take. Good. For a second there, I was concerned I was a bit close. Steam-powered sawmill. Lovely stuff. Ooh, a building. Engineer school. Gives us rocket troop. It's the only thing it gives us. Grazio being destroyed. Florence is being put to work. Good. So you're sl well, you're not unnecessary. I'm just kind of concerned if the papal states decide to try and go for either one of these regions. Myself, southern flank is a bit vulnerable. You, well, you, this artillery is going to go to William de Dornberg. To be honest, I might send the grenadiers with him as well. He could make use of two. These chaps can go join the Milan garrison. 
because there is a chance that we declare on Austria that... Oh no, Russia's not... I oh know we've been splitting them off from everyone, haven't we? <laughs> They've not been able to split off Schwerin and Mecklenburg. mecklenburg strelitz Cool, ten grand. Good. So I can't ally with them because they're allied with Prussia. But I still might declare war on them. Because actually, if I did it with... I would want all of my armies involved. Because that could be quite the cluster. Garrison there, still good. Let's upgrade this. Let's move him out a bit. Everyone's replenishing. Research is good. So. I may actually declare war. I'm tempted to call my allies to see if any of them will choose this as an opportunity to betray me. Okay, so it's brought in this reinforcing army but I think I might uh, I don't know if I move in I might be forced to attack anyway but let's do it just swarm them with troops diplomacy Mecklenburg Strelitz I was trying to see if I can make them if I can make them become one of mine make them become protector it but let's devote significant forces to defeating such a small city-state cool let's hit end turn forces are moving into position the Russians are pr the Prussians are desperately fall falling eastwards But once we hit Breslau, we're going to be really squeezing them into a pocket. Especially when my call and garrison heads west. Yes, now the Russians are a bit more interested. Now they have an they have an open they have a border with me. So you must be ready, because they may in turn. Come on, Belgium. Bring more troops eastwards. Help your your ally. Good. They've abandoned the port because it's mine. Ooh, something to upgrade in Norway. Must remember. Oh, because we got steam pumps or some such, didn't we? But I think I more or less got everything. March east. <laughs> Just auto that. Ignomous end for Blucher, but I don't think there's any other way. Henry Clinton move up to Breslau. Maintain siege. You don't bother sneaking into Breslau or Warsaw. Go into Lemberg. Push east. Ready to start threatening Warsaw from the south, I think. And you... Can't build a fort here, sadly. 
but it would be good because it looks like there's an awful lot of Austrians. So you would be my concern. Okay, so I think... No, not auto resolve. I can't try not demand surrender. Maybe not till next turn. Either, actually, actually, either way, screw it. Let's just attack. Assault. I think with 23 regions we should be able to f have a good fight against the Austrians and start a war with the Prus with the Russians. I think that's how it will that's how it'll break down. Okay, so they're all they're all going to hunker down in the town. So all my artillery is going to sit up here and start to fire from long range. All of my infantry is going to push from the left. Some will stay ready to defend, defend my artillery. Cavalry will ride with them. How it's up here as well. With my general. Let's see if I can provoke provoke anything from their side. I doubt it, but it's always interesting to see what you can get the AI to do. Oh yes, yeah, so my howitzers. I'll push up with my infantry line. My cavalry is probably better off over here. So it's going to provide a bit of a tempting target for them. But we have the, the artillery advantage considerably. Even though our forces are weakened, we've just got so much massed firepower. So I limber my guns. Let them fire at will. Because they will be... Well, it seems like they want to fire at will. Yes, sir. One battery will. You still out of range. General dead within the first... Oh, they are just all out of range. Silly me. Limber them up. Let's get my infantry to continue on their march. How it says follow them. Let's probably position ourselves here. Fold my infantry line in. Henry Clinton, bring him up to triple speed. Because right now there is not much going on at all. It's fairly lucky that of the three men we killed, one of them was their general. They even had to abandon all their gun teams. Good job, General Staff. You guys don't look stupid at all. There we go. Now they've realigned. I suspect my black screen problem is Windows updates that they're firing but not actually starting. I suspect. 
So what time is it? I'm curious if they fire. I don't know. I was wondering if they're firing at a round, uh, like a nice round interval. But that's not the case. So our citizenry is on the flank. Is that cavalry? Nope, it's militia. Unlimber. Oh, they're coming right for us. Unlimber my howitzers. Turn on. Turn on targeted fire. Boom. Okay, so these guys that are in the town are a bit of a cause for concern. But if I do something like this, we will engage them in a massed fire before they have a chance to actually form up. So we are using our light infantry as line infantry. I've made peace with that. Actually, I might just move up a little bit. Yeah, the generals had enough. Got cover on the flank. Let's pick some targets. And then let's advance in good order. advance these guys like this. So let's run up to take advantage of this generalless army. Although to be honest it's probably going to be swept away fairly quickly. Don't really want to advance in the town because they're all positioned quite nicely so I'd be in a very loose form. I'd be in a very Compact formation, but not being able to do provide maximum firepower in return. So I'm probably instead going to want to. Glorious victories, huh? Soon to be yours. Oh, yep, they're moving up into my face. everyone start to do must fire here comes the target to fire of the hearts is in pearl militia let's get my dragoons to chase after the routing unit I do want to actually make sure they route. So troops are on the move. We're actually very close to the edge of the map here. Nice and simple though. Beat one flank. Roll it up. doing so much damage, or as much damage as I would like, and they're gone. So let's position our cavalry along the front. Doesn't look like there's going to be much of them left. They're already running, I meant to make them keep running. Let's 
Let's maybe pick these outside too and actually angle them in. The garrison have routed after losing 10 men. Everyone's gone. Everyone is gone. <laughs> Gee whiz. It's like... Just goes to show how what morale does. Because that was a pretty crappy battle. Real need. Lost 100 men to take to the town. And we're going to occupy. May as well. Don't need the money. Upgrade the gunsmith to a musket manufactory and let's build up this gold mine. Good stuff. Just get everything upgraded. Cool. So now we've got the Russians in a tricky spot. Because I think if this army goes east, I'd probably want to move Henry Clinton down to this sort of gap. To act as a bit of a blocker. Upgrade. Cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. No way, can he not? Because he's not under, he's not sieging. Okay, so Bob Crawford. Actually, if I just move you to attack... Move him to attack his armies outside. God, they were... They, that, that wasn't meant to be the plan at all. <laughs> oh. But it worked. Okay, so <laughs> so the next turn is going to be the defeat of Schwerin. Um, I was hoping to attack this guy so that I'd fight a big battle with both my enemies to my friend. But I suppose because these guys are sieging them, they could not ride to their aid, so they retreated. So that's made this one easier by accident. Um, right here, guys, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defeat of Schwerin. Cheers, guys.